and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing Zodiac Dreams by Marlon Tunison, who is an artist and illustrator living in the Netherlands. Now this book originated as a full colour art workbook by Marlon and it can still be bought, I'll link to it in the description, but Marlon decided to create another book with just plain line art for colourists to add their own interpretation to her illustrations. The book itself is around about A4 in size, but it's got this landscape orientation. So it's around about 8 by 11 inches in total. The cover has a beautiful soft touch matte feel to it, and the back is quite plain. It has a really minimalist, clean look about it, so it's, it's just beautiful from the offset. The first page as we open up is the book belongs to page. Again, it's quite minimalist, but you can colour any of this. It's all the same paper throughout the book. As we go through, you will notice that it's all one-sided. So you can use absolutely any artist medium on it, whether that's paints or alcohol markers, as long as you remember to put some bleed paper behind it. So we start off with the Aries, the Ram, which is part of the Western Zodiac, which we all know probably best. And as you can see, the quality of the illustrations off the bat is just absolutely stunning. In Marlon's profile, it mentions that she likes to draw steampunk, fantasy and manga, which is like three of my top favourite things to colour. So this is an absolute perfect match for me. I also am really into um, zodiacs and star signs and horoscopes and things like that. So absolutely fantastic. Here we have Taurus the bull surrounded in this sort of woodland sphere with all the symbols from the different zodiac signs and here is the one that I've coloured so far this is Gemini which is my star sign and that's obviously why I chose it first I coloured this mostly with Spectrum Noir colour blend pencils but I did use some ink tents for the sky and some white gel pen to sort of pick out the details of the cloud I had so much fun colouring this I absolutely love it the paper is a brilliant quality it's not very very thick but it's thicker than most and it has a lovely uh, soft tooth to it it's not a heavy tooth but it's not smooth either so it's ideal for colour pencils so here we have cancer the crab so we've got this lovely little girl sat on the edge of a lake or a rock pool and all these little crabs it really is very whimsical very very fantasy orientated this is leo the lion with this wonderful um warrior woman sat on his back we have Virgo the maiden covered in these beautiful plush flowers they're going to be absolutely lovely to colour in some really um, tropical pinks and azure and aqua colours here we have Libra with the scales we've got an angel sat in one scale and the devil sat in the other but it's all very playful very whimsical and again very fantasy orientated. Here we have Scorpio. This guy sat on his back with a feather in his cap looking really chill even though he's got this huge uh, spike, what do you call it, stinger, stinger above him. And here we have the constellation as well. Here is Sagittarius, the centaur. So we've got lots of bows and arrows flying around and all this um, sort of Grecian architecture as well. And we come on to Capricorn, which is the sea goat. This has a beautiful outer space background to it. Lots of clouds and waves. That's going to be a really fun one to colour. Here is Aquarius, the water carrier. So we've got lots of watery creatures here. We've got an octopus. We've got the, the tail of a whale. We've got a boat or a ship in the background there. And here we have... Pisces, lots of different fish and underwater creatures, as well as this beautiful mermaid with some fish in a big bubble. Just really gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations. And as you will have noticed, there is that manga influence. So if you are into that sort of cartoony, caricature style of um, illustration, then you're definitely going to love this book. So we move on now to the Chinese Zodiac, which is also included in this book. So this is the rat. You, know, you, will he you will have probably heard of Chinese Year of the Rat, Year of the Dog, and this is what um, these pages represent. So we've got this little rat army with all their spears, bows and arrows being led by this uh, leader. <laughs> and here we have the ox. 
I can imagine colouring this in some beautiful sort of Moroccan colours. I don't know why, but I like I like this patterning on the blanket that's on the ox there. And it's all very um, scrolly and, yeah, definitely some nice oranges and russet tones in that one. So here is the tiger. Lots and lots of swords around this. And a very brave looking person here. The tiger even has an eye patch. Here we have Year of the Rabbit, which is a lovely little... Um, I can imagine this in sort of baby pinks and blues with, you know, the uh, the bluish tones of the clouds and the pink rabbits and a nice night sky with a huge moon. Here we have Year of the Dragon. So we have someone sitting astride a huge dragon here, flying over some water. This next one is got to be Year of the Snake. So we've got a lady here with a snake tail and her hair even goes off into sort of a, a long slithery braid and she's looking out onto um, a nice oriental landscape. This is a beautiful whimsical illustration of a carousel. Obviously this will be Year of the Horse and obviously Year of the Sheep. So we have the little sheepstress, sheepstress, shepherd, shepherdess, yeah, that's better. Sheepstress is not quite the word, <laughs> um, but yeah, beautiful little cute illustration. Year of the monkey, these all look very, very cheeky, like they're about to get up to some mischief. And we have the monkey king here. Year of the rooster, I believe this one. So he looks like he's actually racing with the rooster. We've got this um, racing flag here. We've got a speed limit. Uh, watch out rooster. <laughs> so again, just really fun as well. Really fun, but also really high quality illustrations. Year of the dog. So we've got all these beautiful puppies in this cart, which is being cycled around town. And year of the pig. So pigs do fly in this illustration. Lots of flowers again. And here we get to the back of the book and this explains what each page represents in both the Western Zodiac and the Chinese Zodiac. So these little thumbnails will be easy reference if you forget what's what. And this is just a little bit about Marlon herself, just saying that she um, loves to draw, like I said, the um, steampunk and manga influences and her Zodiac signs are Taurus and Rat. So there's even a little bit of an illustration of her for you to, for you to colour there. So all in all, an absolutely stunning book of really genuine quality line work. I mean, the, the makeup of the book as well physically is really well done. All the illustrations are crisp and clean. There's no you know, stuttering lines or anything like that. It's all very, very nicely made. So for price, um, you buy this on Etsy on the shop called Dream Chase Art, which is Marlon's shop. It's £12.20 at the moment on Etsy, which I think is a really fair price for, an, for this amount of good quality colouring illustrations. And I think there really is a lot of scope in this book to do some really amazing, you know, finished pieces. So £12.20 to the UK, obviously that differs wherever you are in the world. And also you've got your shipping costs to add on to that. So in the United Kingdom, it's £8. So you're looking at around about 20 quid um, for this book if you're in the UK. I'll leave the link to buy this in the description, as I said. There are 56 pages I don't think I mentioned in this book. Um, and yeah, I just I really hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I've enjoyed colouring it. And I can't wait to carry on and do the entire Zodiac. Firstly, obviously the Western Zodiac and then I'll move on to the Chinese one. I really think this is a stunning book and probably quite quite easy to an easy one to finish as well. You know, people start books and they, they think they'll probably finish it, but it all becomes too much. But with these obviously only having 24 illustrations and you know there's going to be 12 of the Western and 12 of the Chinese, it breaks it up a little bit and they're all really different to each other. So it's it's going to keep that um, uh, interest going on and on. So I really hope you've enjoyed looking at this review and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.